Hey, hey guys, welcome back to another speed build. Today we are going to be building a restaurant, which is something that I haven't done yet on my channel. I usually am building residential lots, so I had a lot of fun with this one. This build in particular is a fisherman shack and i'm not entirely sure what inspired me to go ahead and do this i was just thinking of build ideas and something unique that i don't tend to see a lot because i don't want to just recreate things that have already been made a lot i mean sure i will go and make a suburban house every once in a while because i know that's what you guys are looking for but i really just wanted to go out of the box and be creative with my lot today so this is what we ended up with i will put a reference picture up on the screen for you guys so you can kind of get an idea of the vibe that I was going for. I always like to show you guys my references to show that it's okay to use a reference as long as you aren't entirely copying a piece like word for word or look for look it's okay to like take reference from real life there's nothing wrong with that and there's no shame in admitting it either because let's be honest I had no idea what a fisherman shack looked like so I needed a little bit of guidance. So instead of going with the red theme like you saw in my reference picture, I kind of wanted to do like more of a blue theme to show that it was a fisherman shack because in The Sims it didn't translate well to have like a red theme. And then I did this really cool thing with the roof here that I didn't even know was possible because I'm really bad at roofing and I learn something new every day, but I was really proud of it because I got the whole canopy to show and also kind of look like it was part of the roof. But yeah, this build is really small overall, like the entire structure is pretty small. On the inside, I end up making it more like a functioning looking kitchen and then the side part I do end up converting into like a public restroom as well so there are those amenities for your sims on this lot however uploaded on the gallery this lot is not a restaurant I think I can go and fix it because I'm pretty sure I had sims living on this lot so it wouldn't let me turn it into a restaurant lot because when you have sims living there they make it so that you can only have a tiny home or a regular home so I just looked up the requirements for a restaurant and made sure I had them all in there You'll see me later on like just put a bunch of like furniture on the beach like randomly. That was so that I would make sure I had enough for the restaurant requirements. So yeah, anyways, yeah, there I am. I'm doing it now. I'm just like laying things out because I was confused on why it wasn't letting me make it into a restaurant lot. And then later my chat on Twitch told me like, oh yeah, it's because you have Sims living there. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. But yeah, so now I'm going on to the inside and I really like the idea of there being a ladder upstairs into that small room and having it be a storage area. So I made sure to have a ladder there. And this is where I'm converting the side area into the bathroom because you needed to have a sink and a toilet on this lot. So I decided to make a public restroom. And then after a while, I didn't like the shape of the dock. So I decided to change that as well because it looked better in the composition to have it going back from the angle that I was going to take the screenshot from. That's another thing. If you guys ever want to do speed builds, it's really important to think about your overall composition because that's what grabs people's attention. You need to make sure that your lot looks comprehensive and you have a good angle and a good view of everything you want to show off. So keep that in mind when you're building. It may not be as functional as you want it to be, but it's going to look pretty and that's the whole purpose. So now I'm going and trying to decide where I want to put the railings because in my reference image, there weren't any railings around the entire dock, but it just felt weird in The Sims to only have railings in some places. I end up messing with them a lot and I cut it out so you guys wouldn't have to look at it because it was rough. Believe it or not, it also took me a while to figure out where I wanted to place the tables because it was a smaller space than I had anticipated. It looks like there's a lot of room and I was like, yeah, this will be fine. But then when I started placing the tables with all of the chairs, I was like, oh my gosh, this is kind of crowded. And I wanted to make sure that there still was space for your sims to walk around and also i wanted it to look full as if it was a full restaurant and i had to also make a place for the waiter station where people could come in and check in and be like yeah i want to eat here so it was kind of interesting i guess i would say the layout but i'm pretty happy with how i ended up rochella rochella i thought you said that you normally cut the bathrooms out of your speed build why can i see toilet i don't like it all right listen i honestly don't know why i didn't cut it out probably because it took two seconds and i never went back in and put toilet paper in there so i hope if you come to this restaurant you either bring your own toilet paper or maybe grab a palm leaf on the way in because you know nothing's gonna be in there for you now we're in the kitchen and i know that it doesn't require there to be counters but i just feel like it's more realistic that they would have a place to prepare more food so i added in a few counters a sink and a refrigerator that was more like a vending machine because i think that's how they would store their drinks to give to customers and then right here you see me picking out some clutter to put upstairs in the storage. I'm just trying to make it look like this place 
places stocked and ready to serve people. I'm channeling my college student because I used to work at a Panera and I always remember what the back of the house looked like and it was clustered. Like there was random crap everywhere, you guys. There's like the napkins, the silverware, boxes full of stuff that I've never seen before, all the containers. Have any of you guys ever worked in the food service and like totally get the inside behind the scenes tour of what your restaurant franchise looks like because boy it's never gonna look nice it's always cluttered back there I don't know how it ever gets to that point but man I it was bad it was bad at Panera <laughs> I could tell you guys quite a few inside secrets about how they prepare their food as well, but you know, no tea, no shade, it's fine. I, I do like Panera. It was just uh, not the best work environment for me. I didn't entirely enjoy it, so I moved on. But anyways, enough of that. Right now I'm making a rooftop garden because I would like to imagine that this fisherman shop kind of prepares its own food. Like they catch their own fish and maybe they also grow some of their own produce that they use in their dishes and serve to customers. I know that those plants weren't necessarily like edible but i thought that they looked nice and tropical and fit the vibe so i went with it um now we're going to try to finish the railing that i was talking about earlier i tried a few swatches here and there and i cut a lot of it out i just didn't really like how some of it was covered and some of it was not but i did end up mixing it a little bit i added in a wooden railing for part of it and i kind of like how it turned out it, it was nice i don't know i wanted it to be a mixture between like an industrial fisherman's vibe but also have this nice like wood feeling so i'm adding a few decorations here and there to make it feel a little bit more like a wharf and i do remember seeing metallic poles and scaffolding like this in the reference image so it made me think of that do any of you other speed builders feel like a rap god when you're making voiceovers because man i am over here like spitting rhymes and like spewing things out of my mouth just like trying to keep up with the build it's kind of crazy i feel like i'm always talking way too fast and i never take a moment to breathe because i'm also trying to cut out every single breath i'm taking so that people aren't like excuse me i can hear you breathing and it's kind of weird um i'm sorry i'm a person i need to breathe okay listen i'm sorry sims kid you're gonna hear me breathing sorry i really shouldn't go off on tangents when i'm feeding building it's not appropriate sorry guys um but anyways i'm adding some vines to the outside of the shack i know that these aren't really tropical vines i just thought that it gave it a nice little overgrown feeling like this establishment has been here for a while which is kind of what i wanted to go for i wanted it to be like that hometown place that you would go to like if you were to go away to college you would come back and be like yes i can finally visit the fisherman's shop again or something like that I don't know. I wanted it to have this like mom and pop vibe where people would come from the community to support it. And I think that I got that across pretty well. So now that we've got the primary composition of the build done, you'll see me adding a few details here and there just to make sure that the build really shines and has a lot of personality. I tend to move my camera angle around a lot. I pick one angle that I want my main screenshot to be from and you'll probably see me go back to it quite often. I cut out a lot of me like spinning around my build so that you guys don't get whiplash though because I'm constantly checking it for from every angle to make sure that it's conveying the vibes that I want it to convey. I didn't fully have enough room to do a full bar behind the counter here, even though I kind of wanted it to be kind of like a bar that you could find on the beach. I really wanted to use that item from Cats and Dogs that is the full bar, but you know, it was a very small shack and I just didn't have room for it in the build that I had already created, so I tried to give off those vibes regardless. I hope it comes across that way. And right now I'm setting up the area where I would assume people would walk by to see if they were interested in eating here. So I wanted to set up a menu and maybe like a drink list or something like that by the waiter station. And then I'm adding a bit of clutter around that just makes it feel a little more tropical. And I messed around with a lot of decorations and then I finally ended up deciding on keeping it a little bit more simplistic than I had originally imagined. I even added an employee board back there where I feel like they would have schedules and notes up, which I thought was pretty cool. I often tend to neglect roofing details as well so you just saw me place a few things there oh i forgot to mention i also made this lot fishable from so you can stand on the dock and fish with your sims if you would like to and i just think that that's a really cool feature to have at a fisherman's shop because you can literally catch your own dinner how neat is that i'm not sure if that's the sims kid in me or what but something possessed me to put a see-through floor beneath each of the tables and i just think that that's a cool feature that maybe they could use as an attraction to have people come to their business being like oh yeah come eat here you'll be able to see the the fish underneath you as you eat. I don't know. I was just thinking of stuff and you see me trying things here and deciding not to use them. A lot of making a build is looking at items and then being like, nah, that doesn't work. But I feel like I found quite a few things in debug that helped make this feel a lot better. 
And then also this is a public dock, so I wanted to add a, at least like one bench here. I wish I could have added more, but they didn't feel right in any other places that I was placing them. You guys see that? That's a safety railing. Don't come for me. I added one. <laughs> and now I'm just cluttering up the kitchen counter. I had a lot of fun placing these items here. And I think I never used that basket that I put on the counter a lot but I think that's probably because it's in debug, so sometimes they just don't see it. I think it's a cute thing to put inside like plants or maybe some fruit or something else like that, so I quite had fun putting the plant inside of there. It fit perfectly. It was really nice. I honestly could spend hours cluttering builds, but since I upload them to the gallery, I like to give you guys a little bit of space to add your own personal touches to the builds without overloading them with space already, because if I were to just place everything down, then you guys wouldn't have any fun with it. So I always keep that in mind when you download my builds. There should be space for you to add your own personal touches here and there if you'd like to. Ah, uh, yes. Now on to everyone's favorite part. We're doing some landscaping. I honestly am very upset that they don't give us the sand what's the word, texture that is already on the ground in Sulani. We can't match it ever, so instead I just went with this, it's actually a dirt path, but I thought it looked the best. It looked like worn sand to me. So I'm going around and trying to create little sections that I thought would look good. I imagine placing trees along with some tropical flowers in these plant areas. So I'm trying to make shapes organic and I want it to feel balanced. And by doing that, uh, it creates the composition and it makes it look a lot better. And keep in mind, I was doing that all within my head to keep the angle right here. So you see me stop my camera at this angle while I'm placing the trees. Very, very important. I wanted to make sure that the sight lines to the build were still open. I was talking about it more on stream today, but I'm getting more and more excited to do a terraforming, well, I guess it's not terraforming in The Sims, but more like a landscaping tutorial for you guys because it's kind of weird what goes on my head when I'm thinking about composition and what looks good, but if I can verbalize it and find a way to explain it, I'm hoping that it will be able to help you guys make beautiful landscapes as well, because let's be honest, a landscape really can make a build. Look at how much better my shack looks with something out in front of it. If you just leave things blank, they tend to not feel like they're integrated into the world. You kind of have to make the world feel like it can encompass it and that your build belongs there for it to fully look like it belongs. It sounds like I'm just spewing nonsense right now, which is why I'm going to rehearse what I'm going to say in the tutorial video so that you guys don't have to deal with me rambling like this randomly. But anyways, we are getting close to the end of the video today, and I would just like to thank you guys again for all of the love and support you guys have been showing me on our YouTube journey. We are growing, we are glowing, and I'm very excited to see what the future holds for us and the channel. If you'd like to catch me live, please come visit me on twitch.tv slash Rochella, and please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more. Take care, everyone. Love you lots. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. I don't know what I'm singing. This is my outro, but thanks. See you next time. Love you. Bye.